गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टुडे आई एम बैक विद एन अनदर वीडियो एंड नमस्ते टू ऑल माय व्यूअर्स एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम बैक विद एन अनदर वीडियो टुडे माय वीडियो इज अबाउट अ न्यू डैश कैम दैट हैज कम इन द मार्केट दिस इज नेक्स्ट डिजिटर्न एस टू जी मॉडल दिस इज Uh, has been introduced by next digitron few days or uh, few days back this is a gps model there is also another model without the gps now i will unbox this particular dash cam we'll see what is there inside now this is the material where you have all the details about the dash cam now what is the main usb of this dash cam it is a 2k dash cam and this dash cam is priced below 5000 now the main usb is that the most of the dash cam that is available in the market below 5000 are 1080p but it supports a native resolution up to 2k it has got a gps it has some voice control features it's limited to few voice command but still you have that is not available in a budget dash cam and you have the gadi cam app and remember while you are using this dash cam you should use a memory card of class 10 or higher and they have recommended samsung or strontium for this so there is a warranty card you get a warranty card of 1 year there is your uh, USB cable the USB charger supplied by Digitron you have a pry tool is an additional sticker mount if you damage or you need to replace your position this is your dash cam now i have already made a unboxing and dedicated uh, a review of next digitron s plus gps model but in that particular dash cam your gps has to be fitted additionally but in this particular model the gps is integrated with the system so it's quite uh, quite small and uh, you need much less space comparable to that particular earlier model and here is your camera and it can be rotated to 190 degree so you need not worry whatever the curvature of your windscreen is so this is how the dash cam is and these are the specifications that you are having in your dash cam it has a 4 megapixel sensor it has got uh, 2k and wifi is 2.4 gigahertz it will have got your gyro sensor and it supports memory card up to 256 gb that is one added advantage you have a footage of quite a good number of days so you need not worry and all the dash cams are supporting loop recording so you need not worry and this dash cam also supports uh, obd2 or hardware kit if you need parking monitoring system so that's an added advantage and you can also add a cpl filter for better video during the sunlight or headlight gear but these three you have to purchase separately now i will install it in the car and show you how the product is now another important feature of this particular dash cam is uh, it has got a fatigue alert that is not uh, seen in a budget dash cam like this now fatigue alert it's important while you are driving on highways and continuously you need to take rest at least after 2 to 4 hours i always recommend this and you can enable a fatigue alert in this particular dash cam and also you have a small lcd screen in this particular dash cam which you don't get in budget models and here you can get you get some notifications i will show you how how to see that now before that i will install this dash cam now i all 
already use a dash cam fr from a long time back and you see my old dash cam swears is still there i will just show you as a demonstration purpose because you can route this wire through this headliner and through the a pillar and below the dashboard and finally bring it to here now that will take a long time this is the usb charger cable and what i like uh, that it is also an usb c because usb c is the standard now now let me open it up where is quite long and it can be fitted to a car of any size this is honda city and it's quite a big one but st still the well length is sufficient so you won't have any problem routing this wire through this particular area now let me fix it to the 12 volt socket there lies the 12 volt socket and these are the usb port one usb port is for your dash cam and other one if you need to charge your uh, phones or anything any usb item you can use that particular port since one of your port is getting engaged now what i will suggest you if you really want to enjoy your dash cam you go for a dedicated connection through hard wiring and hard wiring is sold separately and there are two types of hardware i have already told you that is one is uh, an obd type and other one is fuse type and if you want to see those videos i have already made a video how to install your there is the protective covering i have opened it and here is your gum tape you need to open it before installing make sure that your glass is absolutely clear there is no debris or anything like that and the most preferable area is below the view mirror but you can also place it over here if you have rain sensors or anything like that you may not be able to attach it over there that's permanently fixed so i have fixed it over here now i will connect it with the 12 volt charger and before that i need a card now i have bought a samsung memory card 128 gb and there, is, there it is shown the orientation how it will be so it will be like this there you will hear a click sound so it has been fitted i have connected my 12 volt connection let me switch on the accessories mode you see the dash cam has been connected now i will show you connect it to your dash cam app now there is that guardi.com app now here you see all the notifications are coming to the wi-fi it is connected it is showing that the memory card has been connected it's showing the time and the voice recorder is on and the gps is also connected so you are getting all these uh, notifications here this is an added advantage with this particular dash cam now let me connect it with gadi cam dash cam app I've already installed it you will find it in the google play store and this is my earlier dash cam which i have already installed in another car now i will add this dash cam it will ask connect to wi-fi let's go to wi-fi see the dash cam it is one two three four five six seven eight nine and connect what is the it is one two three four five six seven eight nine zero and connect okay so it is connected from here 
dash cam it is connecting easy okay it has got connected now here lies the interface uh, you can see already it has started to record and you can see that particular video is going on now let me go to the settings recording stop. Uh, once you go to the settings menu your recording will stop now there are all the options you are having in this particular app now here is the sound recording now here is the speaker volume video resolutions you can change the video resolution if you want i have kept it in 2.7k uh, uh, loop recording that means uh, how many duration of loop recording you want to maintain that means after uh, how many minutes your recording will uh, be saved so the default is one minute so i have kept it in one minute now if you want the logo mark in your video there is an option you can keep it on you can keep it off speed watermark is there latitude and longitudinal distance so all these are customizable which was not present in s plus but here you can customize this now this is the collision sensor in case the car uh, involves in an accident so you can change the sensor position to low medium and high i have kept it in off because if you keep it in high at the instance of any hard braking or cornering the video will be saved permanently so that is not required always now here is the driving fatigue alert which is a very good feature and there you have one hour two hour four hours now uh, so these are all customizable i have given the driving fatigue alert to four hours now the screen option time as you see the screen is always on but you can also set it to off position if you don't want to, the screen to be always on so you can keep it for off position after one minute that is also an option you are having here now the voice control i have kept it on the time zone is here the voice command is turned on and the time format it is ddmmyy and i told you that this particular dash cam is having a parking monitor so parking monitor is only available if you connect it with the help of a hardware kit so parking monitoring option is also there this is the wi-fi name and password and from here also you can format the sd card so that is the app you are getting in this particular uh, dash cam and it's very simple and anybody can use it and remember dash cam is today a very important accessory as this is the only proof material you can show from these videos that if your car involves in a untoward incident maybe it an accident it may be a speeding ticket or there may be any traffic violation case so dash cam is your only proof now i will show you the video footage of day and night how this camera quality is very compact size it is almost not noticeable and another advantage of this particular dash cam is that it's it's capacitor based so you need not worry during high temperatures which is quite a concern if it had a battery inside it is a capacitor based so that is also an added advantage now let us check the video samples this is night video for you first and i am driving in my locality it's difficult to find the absolute dark area in kolkata most stuff the roads are having proper street light but still i am trying to show you perfect night drive through the lo local areas so where the lights are less and you can see that the number plates are quite easily visible 
and traffic lights can also be easily visible at intersections which are very much required if you need to show that whether it's your fault or it's their fault if you are intercepted by the traffic cops at intersection and this is the situation in night drive and if you are within 20 feet you can easily see the number plates easily and this is the situation you see in a indian street you have to tackle with cars buses trucks and everything now this is the daylight footage and this the sky is overcast so it will be easier for you to see that if there is low light condition in daytime how is the video footage and please do check the number plates of cars passing by or coming in opposite directions so you can judge whether this dash cam suits you and the video quality is quite decent considering the price there is some windscreen glare and also during night footage there is some headlight glare through the windscreen but that can be minimized if you install a cpl filter this is under the brightest possible sunlight and here you see also the video quality is quite okay and you can easily see the number plates so i think uh, this is a good buy considering a budget dash cam providing you 2.7k video and the footage is quite acceptable now i will show you if there is an incident how quickly you can download the videos while on the go so you need to go to the app and your wi-fi is already turned on connect okay it's connected now let us go to the album recording stopped once you get inside the app your recording will stop now here you can see all the videos that have been recorded comes into your phone kilometer note kore nei je jemon ami her regular note bolchi je amar koto cholo you can play like this now if you want to download any one of the videos you can just press download here you can see the gps coordinates okay so this is and also the voice recording i have kept on so you can listen to the voice also so i have started downloading so you see it's downloading and why i have kept 1 minute duration videos the video size will be small and it will be easy to download so like this you can download i'm cancelling it now also you can uh, download the gps coordinate also so turn off wifi and it so it will connect to your uh, internet then only you can uh, do that without internet you cannot download that uh, particular gps coordinates so this is how you can download on the go so that is also an advantage that you get in this particular dash cam so this is the way you can download your video if you want uh, very effectively Uh, so that's the unboxing of this particular dash cam next digitron s2 and it's very budget friendly and effectively priced and most of the features that you want in a dash cam is available in this particular one and below 5000 i think there is a few now maybe or mostly are without gps and all these facilities and i have given you the video samples in my video and i am letting you to judge how the video quality is in my experience it's pretty decent you can't expect the video quality of a dash cam of higher quality but this is a remember this is a budget dash cam and what you get is very good considering the price you are paying 
so if you find the video useful and if you think that video helps you in deciding to buy this dash cam please give a like and if you have any comments regarding the purchase and performance of this dash cam you are free to comment in the comment section below thank you very much and goodbye and namaste viewers